gentlemen, and welcome to another cast on by Diggity. This is going to be the opening group of Hasu League. Upper left-hand corner, we've got Raj. Raj. Uh, starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we've got Sva starting as the orange Terran. This is going to be on Vader, which I'll talk about really fast. So you got the natural expansion here. It's almost uh, Revolver-esque, where you got the two expansions from there. You've got a nearby third, but as you can see, it's pretty exposed. And you have this high ground outside, which can be somewhat challenging to defend so more often than not some players will move up to this three o'clock which leaves kind of a wide spread but and then you have some resources top right and bottom left uh both 5,000 gas but before i wanted to talk about this season of hasu league and how exciting it was going to be and how the players were incredible and we already have a sneaky probe making its way out i don't know if this is for a gas deal or if this is for a proxy we'll have to see there is a lot of area on this map to drop down a pylon and go for something so we'll see if it yeah it's going to stop short going to go for that proxy pylon we'll see if this catches Sva off guard or not Sva pretty talented Terran but he's going to have his work cut out for him because holy cow this season of Hasu League is absolutely stacked we've got a whole bunch of returning players we've got a whole bunch of players that I I don't know why they're maybe because it was a smaller grouping of it really feels like Gosu League this year feels like Pro League and and Hasu League feels like Gosu League as far as the adjustments. It looks like we are going to see at least one gate. We'll see if he gets the gas deal on top of it. This is going to be very challenging to defend. Gas deal on top of it, which means it's going to be quite some time before that factory is going to be in play to be of some sort of assistance. So Sva is going to need to get it done with Marine Maiko alone. And considering it is Russia to North America, this could be a bad turn rate as well, which also ends up benefiting early zealot play. Sva sees the initial gateway. Let's see if he leaves, if he leaves that SCV attacking that pylon, I feel like that ends up being play. Oh, he's going to actually pull multiple SCVs, leaving only three to mine to try to engage this as quickly as possible and make sure that Zealot isn't able to get produced. It looks like maybe, unfortunately, because he's pulled so many SCVs, he's going to have to rely on the SCVs alone to take this gateway out. The initial Marine not constructing, just now getting enough resources, and it looks like, yeah, is getting that fairly rapidly, trying to push that probe off. This is going to give an economic lead potentially early to Raj. One SCV down. The, it looks like the Zealot does get produced. And let's see if there's going to be a continue. I would honestly back up with the Zealot and the probe. It looks like a second Marine on the way. All of the SCVs returning. Now starting to work on that assimilator as well. But it's still one Marine versus one Zealot with a probe in between. A second barracks was produced in that bottom left-hand corner, kind of hidden. So this is turning into a sort of all-in marine, maybe follow-up medic marine build. We'll see if Roch has the play for it. An excellent marine split early on here, boxing that zealot out. So it looks like it's only a single SCV, but the SCVs have not increased in number, which is giving... So Roch is down a gateway, so he's going to be down some tech. He's rebuilt that gateway inside of his main. That, that cybernetic score is going to be very, very delayed. He's actually up in workers, however, but you have a lot of Marines that are starting to, in, in serious numbers actually, because keep in mind this is off two barracks. This barracks is going to actually be a little bit of a detriment because it's gonna take some time for the Marines that are spawned there. That's an extra five, six seconds. And there's an SCV pull on top of it from Sva. The Zealot trying to blockade, it looks like it's going to take some damage. And we have, we have another Zealot being produced and a shield battery with a second gateway to try to defend this now for Raj. And that Dragoon, or sorry, that Dragoon, that Zealot's got two kills, is backed off otherwise. The Assimilator's still taking a little bit of damage. The base is wide open. So let's see if Sva can defend on two fronts. The Zealot trying to blockade, but not having a lot of success. No natural expansion here. An initial bunker being placed ramp side. Two shield batteries being dropped to try to help defend this. So Sva has a slew of SCVs. He's certainly gonna be able to get the initial bunker constructed. The probe's coming off the line. The Marines, so we got five Marines here trying to engage that Zealot. The Probe's able to kill, with some help, able to kill one of the Marines. Two Marines left. However, the Probes have blockaded that bunker, and now that Dragoon is out, so there's no Marines to get inside the bunker. And at home base, the Zealot looks like it's managed to get several additional kills. Now Sva, after an initial strong defense against the Zealot proxy, just over-dedicating SCVs and... The second barracks, yeah, just the second barracks wasn't required, so gonna GG right there. So what looked like what might work initially ends up working against Fa, and so we have a quick win for Raj overall. The first round, I believe, is best of three to start. 
I'm not sure that... Here's the thing. I don't have the full organization of the replays <laughs> for the round of 32, so uh, I'll have to play it by... We're going to pretend. We're going to pretend that's what's happening here. So we're going to go through the rest of the best of three with Sva in this grouping. I think it's actually the first round was best of one, and then the winner's match was best of three, if I'm recalling it. The winner's and loser's match are best of three. Um... We'll figure it out. Thank you for the follows, by the way, to Lorf, Castor, and, and uh, Kanome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is, again, round... Of, I don't have the assets yet. We'll add those in the near future. This is round of 32. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.